The West Los Angeles campus is the largest VA campus in the United States. Los Angeles County has 5,000 homeless veterans that they're aware of. So the mission of this campus is to provide services and hopefully shelter to those veterans that are no longer on the street. So the typical challenges for the Veterans Affairs is very similar to other civil agencies and DOD clients that we have. All are facing degradating facilities based on budget cuts or budget requirements that don't meet the overall requirement. They have large backlogs of maintenance that they need to deal with and the funding just doesn't match those requirements. I'm Jeff Perkins, president of Concourse Federal Group. We are a full service A&E firm located in Washington, D.C. SDVOSB is a service disabled veteran owned small business. This really promotes supporting veterans and helping the Veterans Administration obtain their admission. One of the challenges at West LA is we want to get veterans in housing as quickly as possible. In order to do that, we've had to conduct a two year study of the environmental impacts. Traditionally, the facilities are inspected with either an engineer or facility manager and filling out a checklist to basically give you a facility condition index. In 1984, I started this journey. I remember when we did field sampling with muddy boots and waders, paper checklists. When I fast forward today, I wouldn't imagine that we could accomplish all of that with higher data quality and leave a digital twin behind as a resource in assessment, management, and improvement of both infrastructure and natural resources. Booz Allen is always looking for new innovative things to apply towards infrastructure. And a few years ago, we realized that if we wanted to differentiate ourselves in the market, we needed to find out how to infuse technology into infrastructure. At that point, we identified a company called Precision Hawk. And they really built a partnership. They taught us a lot about not just drones, but the sensors. So Precision Hawk used a variety of sensors on campus at West LA, RGB or a visual camera that was used to assess all the pavements on campus, as well as thermal, which was used to assess some of the facility building envelopes, and LIDAR, which was run over the entire 388-acre campus. So they're semi-autonomous, so you can basically set up their navigation points and encircle a facility or a campus. And what's great about that is you can always go back to that a year later and you can run that exact same path. And so you'll get the exact same visuals from the same altitude, the same sensor package. And all of that is very helpful when you start to do analysis around change detection or baselining the condition of a facility. Traditionally, you have a subject matter expert or an engineer or an expert in that area is looking at data and making a decision using a spreadsheet. And now we're ingesting tons and tons of real-time sensor data. And we're using basically machine intelligence to do the analysis of that work. What's great about this project is the team that came together to use this technology and, and apply it at West LA. It's a combination of large and small business coming together with their respective capabilities to integrate and incite innovation. And I feel like we've become an essential partner to the VA as a result. And we're excited of how this project is now gonna be used to better support the VA. So the innovations at West LA has really been able to speed up the production of our EIS and in turn gets veterans in homeless housing quicker.